Before wasting your time we are going to share top 5 best super zoom camera. Number 5 on the list is Panasonic Lumix TZ200 ZS200. Panasonic's Lumix TZ200 ZS200 is the new top model in its enormously popular travel zoom series. Successor to the TZ100 ZS100, it inherits the 1-inch 20-megapixel sensor, built-in viewfinder, non-tilting touchscreen, 4K video and Wi-Fi, but boosts the earlier 10x zoom range to 15x, increases the viewfinder detail, adds 1080 video at 120p for slow motion, and now includes Bluetooth for seamless connectivity and location tagging. The literally big news though remains that new 15x zoom range, equivalent to 24 to 360 mm and easily outgunning not just its predecessor, but all rival 1-inch compacts with pocket bodies. The only compromise is an aperture that's become even dimmer at f3.3 to 6.4 versus the f2.8 to 5.9 of its predecessor, which in turn was already a lot dimmer than the f1.8 to 2.8 of rivals with shorter zooms. But that's the compromise you have to weigh up. If you want a 1-inch sensor with a big zoom that's also bright, you'll need a much bigger body like the Sony RX10 or Lumix FZ2000. Ultimately for many photographers, the TZ200-ZS200's combination of a big zoom and decent sensor and a pocket body is all they need to know. The lens range and feature set are unbeatable in its class, and like its predecessor, it comes highly recommended. Number 4 on the list is Canon SX740HS. The Canon PowerShot SX740HS is a pocket super zoom with a 20 megapixel sensor and a huge 40x zoom range, extending from 24960 mm. If it's the longest zoom in a pocketable compact you're looking for, you won't be disappointed. The SX740HS offers PASM exposure modes, fast 10 FPS continuous shooting, 4K video, and has a flip up screen that's great for selfie shooting. On the downside, the 4K video involves a tight crop that may make the effective telephoto reach even longer, but makes the short end much less wide than when filming in 1080p. To be fair the same restriction applies to the Lumix TZ90 ZS70, and overall the SX40HS provides a good balance between simplicity and sophistication, for those who like a little bit of control, but are equally happy relying on auto. Recommended, but also consider its main rival the Lumix TZ90 ZS70, which may have a slightly shorter range, but offers more physical controls, a touchscreen, raw support and a built-in viewfinder, all for a roughly similar price, thanks to being an older model. It's also worth remembering if you don't need 4K video or the 10 FPS bursts, Canon's previous SX730HS offers much the same features at a slightly lower price, while stocks last. Number 3 on the list is Nikon Coolpix P1000. The Nikon Coolpix P1000 is undeniably the king of super zooms. Its awesome 125x reach, extending from a 24mm wide angle to an eye-watering 3000mm, is unmatched and deserving of a new mega zoom classification all of its own. Beyond the zoom it has more to offer, including a big bright viewfinder, a big articulated screen, raw shooting, 4K filming, an external mix socket, in-camera battery charging and Wi-Fi with Bluetooth. Its continuous shooting performance is a little lackluster, so for sports and action photography, it's not the best choice. And when zoomed into 3000mm the f8 maximum aperture means shooting at higher ISOs, unless the sun is shining. Even then, you'll either need very steady hands or some other support, such as a monopod, to stabilize the camera and keep your subject centered in the frame. Despite those reservations, the Coolpix P1000 is a lot of fun. It allows you to capture shots that would literally be beyond the scope of any other SLR-styled super zoom on the market. If you're into wildlife or sports, or you just like taking pictures of far-off, inaccessible subjects, there really is nothing to beat the Coolpix P1000. But if you're happy with a slightly shorter, more manageable zoom range, the Coolpix P900, Canon PowerShot SX70HS and Panasonic Lumix FZ80 FZ82 all have plenty to offer at a fraction of the price. Number 2 on the list is Canon SX70HS. The Canon PowerShot SX70HS is a super zoom camera with DSLR styling, 20 megapixel resolution, and a 65x optical zoom range equivalent to 21 to 1365 millimeters. 
Successor to the 4-year-old SX60HS, the new SX70HS inherits the zoom range, side hinge touchscreen, and much the same body as its predecessor, albeit losing the hot shoe which is frustrating if you want to mount an external flasher microphone, but upgrades the 1 2.3 inches type sensor from 16 to 20 megapixels, couples it with the latest Digicate processor to gain 10 FPS shooting and cropped 4K video, and upgrades the viewfinder size and resolution. In terms of the lens range, the SX70HS lens may now be outgunned by the 125x zoom on the Nikon P1000, but 65x still covers virtually any situation, and crucially, Canon's pitching it at almost half the price, which, with the updates, makes it a very tempting option. I can't award it more than 4 stars, because the increase in sensor resolution is accompanied by a reduction in low-light performance at high ISOs. That aside, it's still the best small sensor big range super zoom out there at this price point, and comes highly recommended. Number 1 on the list is Panasonic Lumix TZ95ZS80. The Panasonic Lumix TZ95, or ZS80 as it's called in North America, is pocket travel zoom with a 30x, 24 to 720mm f3.3 to 6.4 lens. Launched in April 2019, it replaces the earlier TZ90 ZS70, updating the viewfinder for a more detailed view, and adding Bluetooth connectivity alongside the existing Wi-Fi for image transfer in the background. While you shoot .so it's not a massive update, but while there may not be a lot that's new, the TZ95 ZS80 inherits the multitude of features that made its predecessor, and indeed all the TZ ZS models before it, such a big hit with consumers. These include a 3-inch 1040 k dot tilting touchscreen, separate mode dial for exposure settings, a programmable lens ring, 10 FPS continuous shooting, plus 8 megapixel 4K modes at 30 FPS, 4K video, and raw shooting. In my review, I've compared the Lumix TZ95 ZS80 with Nikon's Coolpix A1000. In many respects, the Coolpix A1000 is a very similar model to the TZ95 ZS80. It actually boasts a slightly longer 35x zoom, also has a built-in viewfinder and a tilting touchscreen, PASM exposure modes, 4K video, raw shooting and of course Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So read on to discover how these two pocket super zooms measure up.